I'm back, y'all. Um, Wisdom Wednesday. Um, I don't know what made me think about that, but I thought it was right on point. Wisdom Wednesday. Don't mind the mosquito bites. They're bad out here. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to give you all a little background of who I am. I have an 11-year-old son. My parents been together 49 years. I am the baby of four. I have three older brothers that made me tough, okay? They didn't baby me. They made me tough. But anyway, uh, growing up, I played basketball. I played softball. I ran track. Very athletic. Um, but I was good, pretty darn good at all three. I um, I went into criminal justice. Um, I have a criminal justice major, minor in psychology. Uh, I began my law enforcement career at Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. I went to a 13 week um, academy where I learned, you know, from, you know, classroom training to patrol stops, to radar, to DUIs. Self-defense, I did all that. 13 weeks, the basic law enforcement academy. Um, then I started in the county jail where I stayed and I worked about two years. After that, I rolled out on patrol. I worked about three years of law enforcement on patrol. And then I ventured off into vice and narcotics where I was a narcotics investigator detective. And during my time in that unit, I did a lot of undercover details. And I also, you know, worked along with several other federal uh, agencies. Uh, I was blessed to move um, or advance to the federal government where I have been for six years now. Uh, I, I completed three and a half, almost four months of uh, federal law enforcement training there. And during that time, while I was in the academy, I was selected as a session leader. I was picked among the staff, uh, among the instructors of my class, because I, I guess I uh, showed some characteristics that they liked. But they entrusted me to be responsible for uh, half of my class during this entire time. And uh, during that time, I got the, um, as you would say, the name expert shooter. I'm a very, 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 very highly qualified shooter in the handgun, the rifle, and the shotgun. Um, why did I choose law enforcement? I've received that. Um, honestly, I've always loved to help people. And Initially, when I started out, well, actually before my career, I thought maybe I could be a nurse because nurses help people all the time. But I knew I had a weak stomach. People call me a punk, but that's fine. I have a weak stomach. So I said, now, I want to help people, but I don't want to see all the stuff that comes in the ER. So I said, no, nursing not for me. So I chose law enforcement. And law enforcement has always been my thing. You know, I sometimes some things just come natural to you. And I'm not to my own horn again, but I always have succeeded and I always have done well in this field. So I know it's my calling and I know some of you all have said, no, you miss your calling, but I feel like it's been my calling. Um, I wanted to, I started this fan page I know some of you all may be, uh, you know, wondering or uh, trying to understand why did I start this fan page. I've received so many requests, so many comments, questions, etc., on policing. And also, you know, a lot of people have told me that, you know, the things that you have said to me have just really, really motivated me, has really encouraged me, have like, man, just something about you. So I said, well, why not? Why not educate? 
why not motivate? I've always loved to help people, so why not? So I've decided to take things to another level to where I feel like more people can reach me, can hear me, et cetera, share me. Um, and also my mission and what's driving me personally is that my traffic stop for me, I don't know what it was that day. It, it did something to me. Um, some may say, yeah, you said the Lord spoke to you. He did. And we've spoken back and forth. And he's pretty much told me, you got to do my will. And I'm going to do his will. A lot of people have told me that you've, you've expressed and you've shared some information that I did not know. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to speak the truth and facts. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to stop at that. What I've told you all before, I'm a positive person. I know we're going to always get negativity with positivity. I know that. And my hair is messed up, but that's okay. I know we're going to have that. But I'm a positive person. And I know in my heart that this train, I keep saying it's a train, <laughs> but this train is moving forward in a positive direction. Like in a positive, that's my goal. Okay, that's my goal. That's my mission. I have a vision, but I feel like that vision will be shared. It will be discussed at the right time. But in the meantime, I am going to inform you all. I am going to educate you all. I am going to motivate you all. You know, because just as many people want information on traffic stop, that many people want motivation as well. And I'm, I'm going to do that. So I've received messages on what happened with the ticket. I still have the tickets, okay? Um, the, I have a court date of... Uh, October the 27th. So I will cross that bridge when I get there, but I still do have the tickets. And when you have tickets, it is your obligation to pay those tickets. And if you do not pay those tickets, you will go to jail or they will issue a warrant. So we will continue to deal with that. And I will continue to update you all on that matter. Um, I've received questions about well, what has to cheat? Has anybody reached out to you? The question is no. I have not received any phone calls, emails, or anything from anybody of the or from the department. And some people said you've been doing all these radio shows. <laughs> radio shows. Are you still employed? Yes, I am employed. I am not. I haven't received any money. This is for you all. I am doing this for you all. I haven't received any money from anybody. Um, I still have my job. Thank the God. I mean, he's in he's in control. He's in charge. I have. Um, I'm just doing his will, and I'm going to continue to do his will. But I am employed. Okay. So keep in mind, y'all, my people. I love y'all because y'all give me so much love. But keep in mind, y'all. I still do work a job. So I am trying, when I tell y'all I am trying, I'm trying to get to the friend request. I'm trying to get to the messages. I'm trying to juggle Facebook, Instagram, and people that know me, I didn't go live. I posted occasionally. So y'all, man, I'm in the I'm in I'm in the deep end now. I'm treading. So but anyway, we're gonna get through it and I'm I'm I, I hey, it's a mission. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready to go forward with the mission. There's no if, ands, buts about that. Some of you all saw me post my motto. My motto is change starts within. And I'm going to break my motto down. Change starts within. That's you. That's not your boyfriend. That's not your girlfriend. That's not your husband. 
that's not your wife, that's not your kids, that's nobody but you. Change starts within. Change your mind. Change the way you think. Change the way you process things. Change the way you analyze things. Change your outlook on life. Change your mind. Change your heart. Remove the bitterness. Remove the jealousy. Remove the doggone hate. Remove all of those things from in your heart. And then, if you put all that together, think about it. You change you, change your mind, change your heart, change along with positivity. Start removing yourself from negative situations, negative people, people that is, that's not talking about positive things. Think about this, y'all. People that's not talking about positive things. Debbie Downers. We all have bad days. We're all entitled to that. But think about it. How many people in your life that's always talking about what's wrong and not what's right? So, change starts within. Change your mind. Change your heart. And those changes along with positivity equals progression. The progression is you. You're gonna live a better life. You're gonna be a better individual. And once you become a better individual, everything around you is gonna change. Your whole aspect on life, the way you walk in life, everything is gonna change at that point. And it's funny y'all, because I thought about the motto and I wrote the motto. Y'all saw me put it on my personal page. But what I just told you just came to me today. So if we, if we take that on a grand scheme of things, right? Change comes within. Change your mind, change your heart, change along with positivity equals progression. Let's put that in perspective of the world. Can't worry about the next man or woman. Let's worry about ourselves. Let's focus on ourselves. But we're going to save all that for a whole nother video. A whole nother video. I know y'all interested in what I'm going to do. What is my plan? Okay. I'm going to be doing some scenarios. Traffic stop scenarios. Okay. We're going to be doing some reenactments. Like we're being pulled over by the police. I'm going to teach you all some do's and don'ts of what to do in certain situations. But I need you all's input, okay? I need for you all to, and, and some of you have. You, you've expressed to me and said, hey, can you talk about this and that? But I really need you all to get active now, okay? Reach out to me. Tell me what it is that you all want to see. And in, in the mix of that, I'm going to do the reenactment traffic stops. I'm gonna also do some motivational uh, testimonies, I guess, encouragement, um, because, you know, just as many people have reached out to me about um, um, rights, traffic stops, do's and don'ts, I've had just as many people that says, you encourage me, you motivate me, you, man, you just, you awesome. And, we're going to get into me and my story and my stories and why I'm so strong. I had somebody DM me the other day and say, D, D, Janae, how are you so strong? Man, we're going to talk about that too. But I want you all to tune in. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm going to post my Facebook, my Instagram, and, and my YouTube channel. Okay, for you all to keep up, I understand that some people are on Facebook, some people are not on Instagram, uh, some people on, you know, YouTube, but not on social media per se. But I want everybody involved. I want to educate as many people as possible because here on this channel, I'm going to speak the facts, the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts, but hey, I don't care who's, who toes I step on, 
but I will speak the truth. So you all stay tuned. Thank you.